All right, good morning, you two. It's about 9 a.m. ish. I would have been out on time. I wanted to be out there at 8.30, but I was up on time. But old, uh, old Zach didn't have any underwear, so I had to do some quick laundry. So, we're getting her going. My underwear is still just a, just a little bit damp. But we're playing today. We're playing corn. So, we're going to give her a shot. <sighs> do I need an energy drink to start my day? No. Is it going to help a lot? Yeah. All right, Joe, we got two Smart Waters, Mountain Dew, two bags of white cheddar Cheez-Its, and my Rain Energy. I don't know what this is. Look at that little 4-0. Well, a little 6410 action. All right, I gotta get in the field. Mmm. Semi. Well, we're having just a hellacious start to the day. So I get to the shop, and then I get there, and I'm about to load seed into my pickup to go plant, and I got a bolt in my tire. So I called the repair shop, good friends with that guy that works there, and I uh, said he was real busy, but I told him I need it fixed, and he said, be here in town. I said, yes, sir. So we're going. Well, it's uh, it's going great. It's, it's been a great start on this beautiful, beautiful, what is it, Tuesday, what, Thursday, maybe? I don't know. So, it's all good. Um, hired man's coming with the spare to help me out. We're going to be fine today. But, $900 later, <laughs> Zach has ordered a new set of tires. <laughs> oh, today, oh man, you want to talk about adverse conditions. <laughs> I mean, I mean, as Cody Gayer would say, if farming was easy, everyone would do it. This isn't really a tribute to that, but kinda. Because I should be in the field by now. I should have been in the field 25 minutes ago. Putting corn in the ground. But no, 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 no. <laughs> oh, I keep looking in my rear view, waiting for, waiting for that blue Dodge Dakota to come crest over the hill. <laughs> 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 All right, we're back in action. Uh, I didn't film because I was in such a rush, but the hired man brought me a spare with a valve stem leak, but put air in it, threw it on, and now, then I took it to the repair shop that I was originally going to before that tire blew, yeah? And uh, now we are heading back to the shop. I'm gonna throw some seed in the bed and go into the field. Sorry for the wind noise, but got the seed in the truck, the old white truck, and an hour in the field. Time to get this girl going. Cannot believe Dad's spraying in this weather, but hey, to each their own. Huh? What in the world? Oh yeah, stop that! Yeah. Whoa, hey. Yeah, whoa. Okay. Let me get all this set. Find your signal. It's got to find its signal first. <sighs> Alrighty. So we got everything going. We are going to get turned around. And hopefully be ready to go. I planted this field last year, too. Uh, planted it to corn. And we're doing the same thing this year, commercial corn. Alrighty. So it's getting us in our line there. And uh, once it gets us all lined up, I'm gonna have to square up. So we're going to put the hitch in the float and two in the float as well and speed it up and not planning so now i feel i feel really dumb <laughs> enabled enabled do it all right now we got it going so population is all loaded prescription we got smart firmers on two row units to read soil temperature 
and furrow moisture and it seems like it's working pretty good so yeah we'll just uh, keep on keeping on i guess hopefully i'm shielding the wind noise a little bit had a bit of a problem with uh the uh the row units were really ridging into the ground they were they were digging pretty much and just making ridges but uh i called dad and we figured it out just a furrow opener so hopefully it's good now seems like it's doing a lot better job but now it's time to fill with seed so <sighs> i get to have fun with that yeah that's baby all right we just got the planter refilled 20 focus yeah 20 pro box pro box pro box that's not pro box the seed box whatever you want to call it i don't care but we got them all refilled the bag per box so should be good. There's a little bit in there. It's probably about 45 acres we'll be able to do now. You know, it's kind of cold outside, but hey, you get to lift it. Shit! So, um, row 11 has stopped planting. So, we're going to go out and see. I'm going to take the back hose off and the plug for the electric motor out. I'm going to flip the box over and open up the housing and see if anything's going on in there. And we'll go from there, I guess. <laughs> if I do or not we'll find out after a further evaluation the screwdriver department is lacking so we're just gonna try to not spill all the seed but get that out yeah actually I'm gonna take this and put it over that hole So, I'm going to back up to where um, row 11 stopped planting a little bit behind that. Just so needs time to get going. If that worked, I'm, I'm going to be very, very surprised. Now I made to the pivot point, um, so I got right up to it there, and then I got a row right. I'll show you. So I got right up next to that well there, ran it to there, and then I got a row right there. Ah! It's a weird pivot. I'm not sure how I feel about it. Aha! All right, we're gonna walk it at. 75, 70% uh, forward, and there's no start. This is what I mean by strange. This was on off. Some of you probably saw that and already knew, but I shut this off, turned this on, put it on forward, now it's moving. I just didn't want it to be on while I did that in case something sparked, you know, 480 volts will kill you instantly. Like it pulls you in so you will die no matter what, so yeah. Is there a bathroom anywhere? Found it! Alright, we're good. Look at them just going up and down. My ground contact's 100% population is holding pretty steady it's on a prescription population so i have no control over what that says 99.9 percent .9 singulation you know i don't know i'd go as far as to say that it's working good all right i'm just gonna go see how much is left in my seed box is a rough little level i don't want to run this thing out upon further inspection every box is about half full still a little bit more so on we go
All right, the uh, the pivot, the walking irrigation system, focus right there. It's gone far enough, so let's go shut it off. Or I don't, I still know what I'm supposed to look at. The camera, me. The camera, me. The camera, me. I. I don't. That's a far walk. Let's make it easy. Huh. That's better. Wow, it's really moving now. That's got to be faster than 70%. That's all I have to say. We're gonna open that one. <laughs> open that one. And we're just kind of gonna. <laughs> okay, but now I'm mulling the wind. I, uh, I want to dig because I haven't dug in a while. I just want to see how the seeds going into the ground. Where am I supposed to look? I don't. I'm gonna look at the camera. Oh, that's a good sign. That's a really good sign, actually. Uh, I'm being sarcastic. Without the handy dandy pliers here and. <laughs> ah, that guy's a little shallow. What we're doing here is you just want to dig and see where the seed is in the ground, see what kind of moisture it's in. Kind of lets you, you know, just gauge how it's going to be. Okay. That's pretty good spacing. That one's in the ground pretty good. I think this one just kind of rode up shallow, but see when you've got hard or you got dry dirt here. Then it goes into wet dirt. See that dry layer is on top of the moisture. So that's usually a pretty good sign that your seed's gonna grow. It's gonna be okay. That's uh, that's more so what you wanna shoot for. You, want, you, know, you want that two inches, two and a half inches seed depth. That way it's not right and too shallow, it won't get washed out as easy. But um, yeah, so it seems to be working pretty good. But it's in really good, I mean, this is really good moisture to put seed into. My hand's wet now. That's good, that's a good sign. Again, I'm sorry for any wind noise, but I've tried like cupping my hand over the microphone and stuff, and I don't know, we'll see how it turns out, I'm not sure. But now, see when you stop, you gotta back up. I'm sure a lot of you are aware of that. Um, at least with these style planners and you know, with all the precision stuff. Give it time to Give the system time to catch up, basically. We're gonna set it down, put it in float. Whoa, don't do that. Put the wings in float, and we'll get going. So, do that. Beautiful thing, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful thing. Okay, so on this farm, we have a big pond that sits in the middle, just collects water. And I mean, you want to talk about farming every acre you can. Wow. Didn't even get that muddy. That's why we wear these. So you can clean off your boo-boos. Oh, that's sticky. Oh, that is wet and sticky. You know what? We're going to just hope it comes off. I mean, it should. I'll watch that row. and But it should in that dry ground. It shouldn't have a problem. Wow. You see, boys, it's about time we fill the, the old, uh, fill the, uh, you fill the old planter up, yeah. The white truck has a little, it has a little lean to that way. Oh, and I swear, if that is a tire, I'm, I'm done. I have already had enough tire problems today. I really don't need another one. Never mind. We're good. We're good. My airbag on this side might have blown, though. Nope. I just parked in the road and the other side's on a ridge. It's fine. Gotta fire her up. Ooh. I do like that noise. Mm -hmm. So now, uh, just gotta take it over there. It'll be fine. Bob, Bob, how are you doing today? You doing good? Good, good to hear. Dude, Bob's got, he's got the easiest job on the farm. Easiest. It's unfair, honestly. It's, I mean, it is. It's unfair. You, you probably get the point. Decided to take a bathroom break. You can probably like, actually hear me decent now. 
Chill with thunder. Whoa. Are you okay? <laughs> Not the millennial farmer, yeah. So we're gonna go dig again, but discovered that dad left this, this fancy tool in here. You know, I almost have an aneurysm every single time I have to open that John Deere door. Oh my goodness, my thumb, oh! Bathrooming. Okay, now I wanna show you guys an example of when the planner's doing a bad job versus when it's doing a good job because, you know, not everyone does it. So this end row here, when this is when dad and I were trying to get it set yesterday. You can see how it's really in a deep ridge. I mean, it just slopes down and then you got your seat bed and then up. You don't want that. I'm trying to find a way to get a good way to get the camera to pick it up. You can probably kind of tell there, but you can just tell it was planting into the ground and pushing the seat too deep. So let's see what a good job looks like. I don't know how much different this looks on the camera, but you can tell if you were here in person, it's just a lot more, I don't know what the word to use level i guess but these are fresh enough rows you can still see that moisture that the seed got planted in so now i'm just going to start digging and we can see what we find maybe it didn't plant one maybe it just there's no there's no corn here it just didn't put anything in the ground that's what it, that's what it has to be that's the only viable option population said otherwise though Ah, goodness. All right, I'll come back when I find one. Let's cover this back up. The reason it took me a little longer to find the seed than it did over by, say, the pivot point was because we have a seven tower pivot, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven tower pivot on a quarter. So on each corner, there's, oh, what is it? Seven acres that isn't watered. So we have a prescription set in for population on this field with the planter. So each part of the field has a different population. The population on the dry land corners is like 26 and a half thousand compared to where it's irrigated, which is anywhere between 32 and 35. And don't get me wrong, the planter's never perfect. You still do get some of this. You can tell right there is a deeper ridge that it's planted in, but you can tell it didn't really start until right there-ish. So that's just different types of soil and inconsistencies in the ground. Man, farming ain't just sitting in a cab and taking your shoes off and watching TikToks. There's a lot you gotta pay attention to. But, sure is fun to pay attention to those things. You gotta beep at me, huh? What do you think you need to say? Say it to my face, say it again. Put her in flow. Look at that, oh, focus. Yeah, yeah. And we're going. You see it's doing a real nice job. Well, on the ends, it still gets a little eh. But the downforce chart doesn't show any like irregularities, like big irregularities. So, I mean, really not, not really not bad at all. Doing good, doing good. The massager showed up. It's about, it's about time. My, my neck was getting sore. Thank you. You ready to put the seat in for me? Oh, hell yeah. Okay. Claim she's going to carry it all. I don't know. I don't know about that one. <laughs> oh, we're about done. It's like what is almost 10 something like that bedtime bedtime yeah i'm tired just messed around refilling a bunch put like three bags between all boxes and we're getting her going big sleeps we're gonna play the no light game that's scary but we got screens, we don't oh, need them. Oh, children of the corn. Have you seen that turn them back on? <laughs> man, 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 man. Talk about satisfying a good feeling. Except for road number 12. That's been acting a little funky. Its population is like a few thousand too low, like 2,000 too low. Emmer's getting sleeps. At least I don't have to drive back to freaking Lincoln. To 90 feet to go last pass road number 13 just thought it was a good time to be empty i guess all right i forgot to close off the video when i was in the shop like i meant to but finally heading home it's about 11 20 ish 11 25 uh yeah this is, is an okay day towards the end there got a little choppy and uh -oh. Yeah, I guess if you enjoyed, let me know. If you didn't, let me know.
let me know what you guys want to see what, what you want me to change if you like it tell me if, um, if I should keep going or what you think probably be seeing this video the weekend after I uh, filmed it so but yeah today is Thursday April 29th 2021 and I guess I'll see y'all next time